ट्रम्प इन सैंक्शन आउट ट्रम्प एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन टू पॉइंट ओ इज स्टिल सिक्सटी डेज अवे एंड वी आर ऑलरेडी हियरिंग अबाउट हाउ दी फोर्टी सेवेंथ मे अन डू अमेरिकन सैंक्शन ऑन रशिया ट्रम्प हैज प्रीवियसली सेड ही डज नॉट लाइक सैंक्शन वेन इट केम टू रशिया सो इट इज हाईली लाइकली दैट ट्रम्प मे टेक अ वेरी डिफरेंट अप्रोच दैन द करंट कमांडर इन चीफ जो बाइडन Trump's approach to foreign policy often revolves around forming personal ties with key leaders as per retired lieutenant general Keith Kellogg who has worked closely with Trump in the past Trump sees sanctions and brute force as last resorts not first options this means that when it comes to issues like the Ukraine conflict Trump might try to talk things out with Russian leader Vladimir Putin instead of imposing more sanctions Kellogg told the Wall Street Journal that Trump would aim to find a way to work through a problem before considering harsher measures. First thing first, US and EU sanctions on Russia have failed miserably, but still they kept on piling thousands of sanctions on Moscow just for headline management. Trump's view on sanctions is different. He has previously mentioned that he does not love sanctions because they push countries away from the us now if trump decides to reduce or remove these sanctions russia could regain access to international markets that have been restricted one area where this could have a major impact is russia's arctic lng2 project the massive natural gas project is part of russia's broader goal to become a leading global supplier of liquefied natural gas or lng The Arctic LNG2 plant is located along the Northern Sea Route or NSR which allows Russia to ship LNG to European and Asian markets faster than through traditional routes. If Trump administration were to loosen sanctions, Russia's Arctic LNG2 project would have more room to grow. Without US restrictions, the project could receive more funding, work with more international players and export LNG more freely. this would mean more jobs more exports and more revenue for russia this would be a big win for the russian economy as it could increase the country's power muscles and influence in the energy market some experts believe that trump's personal connection with vladimir putin and his view on sanctions make it likely that he will ease us restrictions on russia anna subesik An analyst for the data firm Kepler suggests that Russia will definitely have more space to maneuver with Trump in office. With Trump's evolving priorities and his willingness to take a different approach from other US leaders, it is possible that he may soften the US stance on Russia. But then there are some hawkish voices as well. Steve Mnuchin, who served as the Secretary of the Treasury, during Trump's first term has called for imposing more sanctions on Russia he also added that the current sanctions imposed have been more about making headlines and less about achieving real effectiveness russia is selling plenty of oil and gas nochi noted highlighting the need for more impactful measures but guess what this russia hawk leader has not been invited to join the trump administration 2.0 Does that mean only pro Russia China hawk and pro India leaders are going to make it to Trump cabinet well it looks so